Hey everyone, so it's about that time of year again where I'll be moving out of my car and into an apartment. I'm recording this uh, near Halloween and I thought I'd show a little bit about how I handle living in my car because I've been doing this seasonally basically ever since, um, ever since I moved out here to Seattle. It's very nice to live in your car pretty much from March until, until October, November every year. It's pretty comfortable and um, you know, I, I, I don't have, uh, I, I, I just prefer to do other things in my life, especially going to the computer gaming conference. So there's one of my computers right there. I'm writing, this year I'm competing in quite a number of them actually because I uh, have some life changes coming up and I know in the future uh, going to the conference is going to be tricky. So I kind of want to get it all uh, under my belt uh, before I make those life changes. Uh, but I thought I'd make a video to show because this might be the last time in a long time that I live in my car So I thought I'd make a video to show uh, Other people um, or even the future myself how to do it uh, So um, one of the most important things that I ever discovered when I moved into my car Is to keep a few buckets of calcium chloride salt to absorb humidity This is especially important during the winter not so much during the summer uh, although during the summer um, here in Seattle, it can rain quite a bit, so you might be keeping your windows closed. So calcium chloride would definitely save the day in that case. So every couple of days, um, actually, believe it or not, uh, this is not very different from how we keep our space shuttles dry. There's a, a, a compound similar to calcium chloride that's used to absorb humidity in space as well. So every couple of days what I do is take a, uh, take a utensil just like this one and stir it up a little bit. And then every, every week or so I might have to replace the salt. Uh, that's probably the most important consideration I would have. Um, I would recommend at least several different thicknesses of, uh, of bedding material because the temperature, depending on whether, depending on the environment, right? Sometimes you can keep the windows open, sometimes they have to be closed. So I have this one, which is, as you can see, polyester, very thin. And then uh, this one, slightly, th slightly thicker. And then this one, especially because I like to travel quite a bit too. This is one reason I love to live in my car. I'd rather have money to do other things like going to Ellensburg to sky uh, to, to stargaze. I, I think I showed you guys some pictures of the sky uh, a couple weeks ago. And oh, my my favorite is um, I like to look for a place to park where I can pull an extension cord and plug into the. Uh, into a building or something like that. I really don't want to show where I'm doing this because uh, People tend not to be very happy about it and sometimes of when other people who live in their car find out there could be a lot of competition So I'm gonna keep that secret for now um, But here's what I've done. I've taken a power strip just like this one and then this uh, lamp clips on to uh, Clips on to this uh, Handlebar. I'm, I'm using one hand to hold the camera so I can't really clip it on right now And then obviously um, I can plug in my computer my cell phone anything else that I need to plug in and uh, Those are the main uh, Secrets that of uh, that 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 make for comfortable living in the car Actually, I had a, I have some funny terminology that I use when I live out in my car So when I first moved into the car, this is a Mitsubishi Lancer that I'm driving by the way when I first moved into the car, I was watching Rover Curiosity land on Mars. And I remember thinking that in my car, it could, it could be just like an Earth Rover, and I can explore Earth in my car. And um, believe it or not, uh, this car I've driven, uh, if, if you're counting miles, this car is more than half of my driving career since I got my driver's license. So it's lasted me a very long time. And... Um, I remember thinking it's just like an Earth rover and I can explore Earth with it and explore I have. I've gone to three different countries including the United States, US, Canada, and Mexico with this car. Um, never had an accident, not even a fender bender. I've gone to uh, 20, 22 different states with the car. The only thing I haven't done is gone to another continent. I was hoping, I was hoping we would eventually have a bridge over the Bering Strait. And so I called it an Earth Rover. And when I would go places and I would collect souvenirs, let's see if I can 
Uh, they're all I don't want to unpack right now because I'm actually getting ready for a different trip But when I would collect a souvenir from a place I would visit I would call that a sample return mission and Sometimes when I would travel I would like to meet new people there and when I meet locals there I call it life exploration So I had all this terminology going on and it was always fun and and uh, what I really love about staying in the car every time I travel is that I can be really close to the action. So I recently went to a backgammon tournament. This was in uh, Missoula, Montana. And um, everybody was staying at a hotel that was like miles away. They had to drive there. They had to take the bus there. I was just parking right outside of the hotel lobby where, where the, conf where, where the uh, tournament was being held. And it was very convenient. The only thing I, I wish I could do was if I could drive my car all the way to the ICGA, the computer gaming tournaments, but they're usually held in Europe or in Asia. And um, unfortunately, no bridge over the, not even a ferry. You would think you could take a ferry across the Bering Strait. Uh, but I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I, I love the concept of Earth Rover so much. It's not even about saving the money anymore when I live in the car. It's about the convenience and the idea that I'm so mobile, I don't have to be tied down to a spot. I don't get along with people very well. Sometimes I get into a, a disagreement with my neighbor and I just want to move. And with a car, I don't have to worry about paying a penalty to move. And um, it's just very mobile. Thanks for watching.